Welcome back to Maso Tech Tips. In this video, we're going to take you through how to install the Maso G3 Touch Wiring Module. We'll break it down step by step so you can get it done quickly and with confidence. First things first, open up your Maso G3 Touch Cabinet so you can get access to the board inside. Next, remove the top acrylic cover. Keep it and the four screws somewhere safe. We'll use them again shortly. Now you need to disconnect the wires from inputs 1 and 2, the power terminal, and e-stop 2. These will all be reconnected to the wiring module shortly. Ensure all the other connectors from the Maso G3 Touch are disconnected and set aside. We'll be reusing them soon. Now, carefully take out the two spindle optocoupler ICs from the Maso board. Just take your time here. They're small and delicate. Quick tip, if you haven't installed the backup battery yet, now's a great time to do that. Now it's time to install the local extension board. It's keyed, so don't worry. It only fits one way. Just make sure all the pins are lined up properly. The side with the connectors should face down toward the bottom of the Maso touch. Also, double check that the red and green LEDs on the Maso board are standing upright. You'll want them visible through the holes on the extension board once it's in place. With the board in place, we can start wiring. Connect the black e-stop wire to either e-stop 1 or e-stop 2. If you've got a pendant connected to your Maso, use e-stop 1. If not, plug it into e-stop 2. Next, connect the green wire to terminal 1. That's your input 1. The blue wire goes to terminal 2. That's input 2. Finally, terminal 3 is for power, so connect your yellow, red, and white wires here. Now if you're using an external e-stop, this next part's for you. Move the red wires from Terminal 3 over to Terminal 4. Let's get those two 37-pin cables connected. Feed them through the access hole in the back of the cabinet. One should be male and the other female. Plug them into the local module and secure them with the thumb screws so they stay firmly in place. And just like that, the Maso touch side is done. You can now close up the cabinet. Let's move over to the machine side module. Take those two optocoupler ICs you removed earlier and install them here. Just make sure the small dot on the IC lines up with pin 1. It's important for proper operation. Next, you'll notice a set of small dip switches. These let you turn pull-up resistors on or off for each input, without needing to wire anything extra. Ensure these are all turned to off. Now connect your two 37-pin cables to the module. They're keyed as well, so they'll only go into the correct ports. Tighten the thumb screws to lock them in. Next, reattach the acrylic cover you removed earlier. Use the same four screws to hold it in place on the machine side module. Finish up by grabbing the screw terminal plugs you took off the Maso touch and plug them into the matching spots on the machine side board. And that's it. Your Maso G3 touch wiring module is installed and ready to go. If you need diagrams or more support, head over to docs.maso.com.au. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next Maso Tech Tip.